Right, what's up everyone, this is Rafal and today I'm gonna make a different video. I was working on iPhone 6 uh, Plus Touch AC and I'm like, okay, I just got my uh, new leaded solder uh, paste and I this time I got it from MG Chemicals. And I noticed I'm, I'm becoming kind of fanboy because I've been using their uh, leaded solder and their super wick and I also got their uh, cold spray, super cold. So um, I just make a video, see how it compares to uh, M, what is this, mechanic, mechanic uh, solar paste, just to see how I like it. And I also just got the 3D stencil, so I'm curious to see how that works. So I'm just applying some flux. This is Amptic flux. Oh, they're actually making a um, flux as well. Let's remove this puppy. Clean the pads. Bing. No, this is way too big tip. So this is what I like about uh, JBC. This is a pretty thick tip. Shut up. This is what I like about JBC. Uh, this is hot. All right. Now I'm gonna swap it out of camera. Put in a new nozzle. Just clean it. And it's getting hot again. Amazing. Now my board cooled down, so it's a little bit harder to clean those pads, but we got this. All right, I'm gonna run a jumper wire without recording it. So here is the 3D stencil. It's pretty thick, I kind of like it. First off, let's clean the old solder. Actually, you know what? Let's, let me do this again. Better. Bam. I think this is gonna look a little bit better. It's all about presentation. Let's put some flux. Clean the lead solder from the chip. it out so I'm running the hot air at 258 of mine that's just a random number so you can see um, paste is pretty thick that's good so I'm just gonna use my finger and like slowly apply the heat So mechanic would already like start melting at 250. This one needs more. Let's do 300. Okay, I'm getting some action, but still not what I'm looking for. Let's do 330. Okay, damn. Is it going to happen this year? Wow. Kind of interesting, I'm pushing 380. Bam, there you go. Oh, some balls got stuck to the 
stencil still. Yep. Okay, so I have to redo it. through the napkin. I always do it through the napkin so you can put some pressure under some cushion. Bam. Let's make sure you can see it. And we're running at 360. Completely different story. Always put a little bit of flux and reheat. Reheat the CPU, bro. No, reheat the chip after reballing so that the balls are actually jumping in spots. Clean this chip and we're gonna inspect the balls. Okay, nice and shiny. And they look even. So let's put that on the board. Kind of just spread it around. Let's see what temperature this was going to melt. Too much airflow. Temperature is just like normal. Yay! I got touch. Perfect. Let's try the baseband. This one's gonna run a little bit hotter. Holding the board. And then quick cleanup. Definitely want to make sure all pads have some solder, that they're not oxidized like these here. Three sixty. Let's go. Looks good.
pop right out. Let's put some flux. And uh, this looks good, I would say. We have nice shiny balls. They all look pretty even. That just dropped perfectly good. Okay, so it's jumping in spot. All right, so, so far I actually like this paste. Um, it works, I'm just surprised with the higher melting temperature, but oh well. Um, I'll keep working on it, you're gonna see my other videos if something changes, but so far it's good. Um, I also like their super wick and their regular solder. Uh, links are in the video description, so click on there if you wanna get some. Uh, thanks for watching, I will catch you later in the next video.